Usually Siemens has been able to depend on one division being used to prop up some others. What has changed this time? Good morning, Matt. Yeah, you're right. The you know Siemens big conglomerate used to be able to say you know prop up uh, earnings by saying either you know you've got an energy weakness and then something like healthcare or software makes up for that, um, or the other way around. But now you know with this automotive slump that's happening in Germany and the world, uh, the factory automation business has been weak. Healthcare uh, profit hasn't been as strong as they'd like, and neither has trains. And of course, you've got this ongoing energy weakness with gas and power, and the wind power division um, had a big loss last week so uh, instead of one division propping up the other all the divisions are kind of dragging down earnings right now and it's mostly macro stuff that's happening uh, but also some of these problems are uh, exclusive to Siemens. We were just looking at some pictures in fact file pictures of protest activity uh, taking place climate activists uh, having their say about what they think about Siemens. We are going to see big protests taking place today Oliver we expect. What are the demands there? Yeah, it's uh, it's been an ongoing topic, the protests. The uh, protesters are asking Siemens to uh, stop a contract to supply rail signaling equipment uh, to the Carmichael coal mine in Australia. Uh, the, the contract is to, uh, for uh, Adani, who are uh, building this coal mine. Uh, they were asking this since December. Siemens, uh, you know, as CEO Kayser said, that he would look at that, and then he decided the company would go ahead with the contract. And uh, obviously... Uh, activists weren't happy with that, so they're stepping up demands today. They're going to send uh, activists, in fact, to speak as part of the shareholder meeting uh, and, again, demand that Siemens step out of this contract.